Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we have the next part in my sort of like makeup organisation and declutter series. And today, as you can tell, we are going to be tackling primers. Yeah, I have so many. This is an actual joke. Um, I really need to be harsh with myself and brutal and actually get rid of a lot of this because... I only have one face. I have an oily combo skin type, so the majority of my primers should be like mattifying or pore filling. And I know for a fact I have so many hydrating and glowy sort of products, which I could definitely get rid of. Okay, firstly, I have my two Smashbox Photo Finish primers. These are staying. I got these before Smashbox stopped being uh, stocked in the UK. Um, and I absolutely love this primer, really good for longevity, so this is these are staying. I have two P. Louise ones, I'm going to keep the pore filling one, I'm going to get rid of this one, I really hate the pumps on these, so I'm just going to keep one of them. These Glow Recipe Drops are going to stay, I've actually not used these a lot, but hopefully now that everything's going to be organised, I'm going to reach for these a lot more. I've got the Milk Hydro Grip and also the Pore Eclipse, these are both staying, I love both of these for different reasons, this is a good gripping primer this is a good pore filling one but it's also very nice and hydrating oh i absolutely love this one this is the nyx marshmallow primer i really want to get the setting spray um i'm gonna keep this because it's very good this is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless i have not used this in forever i need to like reuse this um definitely uh, stay in i have two by huda beauty i have the water jelly and i also have the glow wish blur jam i'm gonna keep the glow wish one and i'm gonna keep the water uh sorry i'm gonna get rid of the water jelly my little bobby brown is going absolutely nowhere i'm pretty sure i've got a backup of this as well it's so good oh i have the one size secure the blur primer that is gonna stay as well i'm gonna get rid of the Too faced hangover primer i think i got this in an asos box it's a really nice one but i just don't use hydrating primers a lot so I'm gonna get rid of this. I will however keep my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This is again a hydrating one but I haven't kept a hydrating primer so far so I am gonna keep this one just because it is newer in my collection and it is full size. I have the Primark Bobbi Brown dupe. This is staying. It's actually really really good. This is the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. Again that is staying. I got rid of the Hangover Primer but I will keep the Too Faced Primed and Poreless one. Okay, we're not doing just we're not doing so great at the moment. I have five from the Beauty Crop. I think I'm gonna keep most of them, but I'm gonna get rid of this brightening one just because it's still in the packaging and I'm never gonna reach for this. But I will I will keep these ones though because I really love them for all like different reasons. This is the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturiser. I'm going to get rid of this just because I do not use it and it's brand new and I feel like someone else would appreciate that. This is by Ola Henriksen. I've never used this but I feel like I need to. This is a Banana Bright Face Primer. I'm going to keep this one. Ooh, I will get rid of this one actually. This is the Be Perfect Silky Matte Face Primer. Um, I just don't reach for this at all. Um, and yeah, I just don't really think it's worth keeping my collection like I have tons of other primers that do the same thing and I just need to stop holding so so many of them I mean don't get me wrong a lot of this is revolution which I cannot wait to delve into and I'm definitely going to leave rev until the end because there's just so much right this is the Tatcha silk canvas primer I have used this once do you know how expensive this primer is it's like 45 quid or something um I'm going to keep this, but if by the time I do my next key declutter I've not used this, I'm going to get rid of it because it's just far too expensive to just be sat there and not used. I have one Studio London primer. This is the Super Boosting Hydrating Primer. I'm going to keep this, again, because I didn't keep or haven't kept a lot of hydrating primers so far. Um, and I don't have another one by Studio London, so that one can stay. I have a few of these, but I'm definitely going to be keeping the Elf one. This is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter, and this is a Charlotte Tilbury tube, so that's going to stay. I'm going to keep my Poreless Putty. As you can see, I absolutely love this. Um, I'm going to get rid of this little mini of the matte version of that. 
and this is really hard but I honestly think I'm gonna keep both of these as well we have the elf uh, power grip it with the net nice and mild, and we have the liquid poreless putty oh god you're keeping so many with you hopefully I'll get rid of a lot of revolution ones so fingers crossed I've got a couple of little minis firstly we have the Mac studio radiance moisturizing illuminating silky primer I think I'm just gonna get rid of that one and then this is by Bare Minerals, Primetime Original Pore Minimising Primer. I'll keep that one, just because it's little, and that could be really good for travel. See, this is my problem. I want to keep this, because what if I do a full face of Fenty, and I need a primer? And it's also soft matte, so I'm going to I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> um, I have two of the Benefit Pore Fessionals. Oh! That's just great. I have the hydrating one and I also have the light. I think I'm actually going to get rid of the the hydrating one and I'll keep the light one because, I don't know, I don't need both. Definitely keeping my little mini of Charlotte Tilbury. I have the collection filter finish. I'm actually going to get rid of this, which saddens me because this is really nice, but I have the elf one. And I have the Charlotte Tilbury and I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep the revolution one as well. So... I definitely need to be brutal and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep my Too Faced All Nighter. This is a really nice one. Next we have the Beauty Bay Glow Filter. I know I just said that about the collection one, but I will put this in my keep pile for now. If I feel like I've kept too many of them, I will get rid of. We also have the W7 Porefection Pore Minimizer Primer. I'm going to get rid of this just because I've kept way too many um, and I definitely don't need that one. And then I think this might be the last non-revolution brand primer. This is by Seventeen. I'm going to keep this because it is absolutely brilliant. Matte Perfect, but uh, Matte Base Perfection Oil Control Primer. Highly recommend that if you've got oily skin. Okay, so these are all of my revolution ones, which obviously is a literal joke. This is far too many just from you know one sort of set of brands. So definitely needs to be whittled down so straight off the bat i'm gonna get rid of this this is by xx revolution and i think this was like just before or actually quite a bit before the the craze of the charlotte tilbury dupes this is the um oh i don't know what it's called but it is like a glowy product i am gonna yeah i'm gonna get rid of that i am however gonna keep this this is the cloud complexion primer really really nice Definitely not spoken about enough, um, that can stay. And then the only other XX primer I've got is the Powerpuff Girls one, and I'm going to keep that. <laughs> Let's do Relove next. These Relove ones lose the lids so, so easily. It's not even funny. I've got two sticks and five like actual liquidy primers. Uh, okay, what we're going to do? do i think i'll get rid of the power fix one um i got sent like literally their entire like makeup range like everything so this is why i have so many i actually got rid of some before as well which is crazy i'm gonna get rid of the power fix because it does, doesn't really do anything for me um i am gonna keep the high tree one because this is like a green primer to help with redness so that one can stay uh, what one have we got here? I think I'm going to get rid of the Hydrate by Relove, the liquid one, because I'm going to keep the stick, because I actually like the idea of a, a hydrating stick, because it could be quite cool. In. So that one's going to stay. Um, this one, Say No More. This is honestly one of my most used primers. This is the Relove Blur Stick. I have literally used so much of this is unreal that is staying it's so grimy but literally like one of my favorite primers and then that leaves two of these we have poor vanish and super matte do you know what i think i'm going to keep the super matte and get rid of poor vanish i have a lot of poor minimizing primers but not i mean i still i do have a lot but like not loads that are sp specifically just matte i have this corrector stick which i'm going to keep i was actually on the pictures for trend mood for this launch which was absolutely insane so that is staying i have two by revolution pro i have the blur stick bright and i have the blur line filler i think i'm just going to keep the line filler and get rid of the stick because honestly i love my uh, relove one so much that i would probably never reach for that revolution pro one okay let's do iheart revolution next 
Okay, so these are all my I Hate Revolution ones. Oh, okay, straight away, I'm just going to get rid of this glazed donut one. This is actually from the Primark collection. Um, and I, if I remember rightly, I actually really like this one, but I'm just going to get rid of it because I know I'm just not going to use it. Okay, out of the tasty ones, I'm going to keep the coconut one and get rid of the watermelon one just because the watermelon one is like a dewy primer. This one is just a hydrating one. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. I literally hate the lids for these so much. They always come off. Um, I think because I kept the Mattavine Relove one, I'm going to keep the Pour Blur the peachy one and get rid of this one i don't want to get rid of both because i do want options so yeah i have two more i have the elf glowy one i think i'm going to get rid of this as much as it pains me to get rid of elf i've literally got all like loads of the other stuff from elf so i don't mind getting rid of that and then this coffee cream one i can't remember what it actually did for my skin which is really bad I think because I've done so well, I'm just going to keep this for now and, and see what happens. Okay, and then that just leaves us with normal revolution. So let's delve into it. Straight off the bat, I'm going to get rid of this dewy primer that come in the advent calendar. One, it's dewy, and two, it's an advent calendar one. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to keep both my super base primers. This is the colour correcting one in green, and then this is like the vitamin base, like Bobbi Brown dupe. So I'm going to keep those. I have two of these like funky swirly ones. I think I'm going to keep Candy Haze and get rid of this one because I haven't used it since I reviewed it. And when you use it after you uh, like a couple of times, it starts to like mix all together. So I'm going to get rid of this one because it's still in pretty good knack. I'm going to keep both of these. This is the Simpsons Treehouse of Horrors and Monsters University. These are both like kind of like grippy. Well, this this one definitely is grippy and i find that this one is a little bit gripping as well so they're gonna stay i did not realize this was revolution pro i feel like i've got this in a box somewhere or an advent calendar i'm not sure but this is gonna go okay i've got two glowy products i've got the face glow which is the charlotte tilby dupe and i've got the bright light primer this is relatively new so i'm gonna keep both of these and see how i get on with them these are two advent calendar primers i'm gonna get rid of the emily in paris one because it's shimmery but of course i'm going to keep my game of thrones one 100% I have two of these like core revolution primers I'm going to keep the ceramide one and I'm going to declutter the hydrating one I think all these three are going to stay Lizzie absolutely raves about this but I don't know if I've actually used it this is the conceal and fix mattifying primer uh yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that and get some use out of it I'm really hoping now once all this is sorted out again I've probably said this a million times but I can finally actually rotate everything that I use because I honestly just use the same shit over and over again. Next, we have the IRL Skin Filter Pour Blur Primer. This is really good. That is staying. And then this is... I don't remember what this is called, but it's very, very good. I've used, you know, I've used quite a lot of it. It's really good um, and it doesn't take up much room. Perfect for travel, so that can stay. This is my issue because I now worry that I don't have any revolution hydrating primers because i decluttered the hydrating one uh, but it's okay I, I don't need it i'm not going to ever use it am i so just stop being stupid okay i'm pretty happy with the amount i decluttered i feel like if i just turn you around oh crap i'm pretty i'm pretty happy to be fair this is everything that i've decided to keep which yes is a lot but hello what do you expect i'm like literally addicted to makeup and then these are all the ones i've decided to get rid of so i have made a den probably not as big as i should have but i've definitely i've definitely made a den i'd say okay i'm gonna wrap this video up here i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button comment down below let me know what you think of this video and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye